What's going on? Alan Dragu here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you, the copywriter, how to use AI to do market research in just 15 minutes. I'm really excited about today's video because I used this process for the first time just a couple days ago, working with my good friend Ben Fitterman for a client that we had a really tight deadline on, which squeezed the amount of time that we could do for market research. He put together a bunch of AI prompts that actually did a ton of really good market research for me to write the copy for this client. And so we're gonna do it together. I'm gonna redo it live with you. I'm gonna show you the prompts. I'm gonna show you the outputs that actually came and I'm gonna give you everything for free. So first off, check the link in the descriptions below for the actual prompts themselves and make sure to go over to Ben Fitterman's YouTube channel because he is the mastermind behind these prompts that really helped me use this process to write great copy. All right, so no dilly dally. I've got my coffee, I've got my prompts. We're going to go ahead and start working together. I'm going to share my screen. This is going to be like a live workshop, a free workshop. Before we dive in, let me clarify the goal of market research if you're unaware. So the very simple way to think about market research is you have a product and you have a market. And the goal is to get a product market fit. Okay. What we're trying to dissect from the market is what is the biggest problem they're trying to solve? Why have they not solved that problem? Everything is about the problem. Okay. Their pain in solving that problem. That's really what we're trying to figure out. And then on the product side, how does our product that we're trying to sell solve that problem? Problem to solution fit. That's it. Well, let's dive in. Let me share my screen and let's start working through this market research. All right. So you see my screen and on my screen, my good friend, Ben has put this stuff together. He is the mastermind behind this, but I'm going to show you how to do it. And I'm going to give you everything that we're doing. Okay. So I think this is absolutely genius. We're going to do it live with the client that we are literally writing for right now. So we're working for a client right now called Delight Station. And what Delight Station is, is they are a video streaming service for adults with disabilities, okay? So adults with disabilities have uh, different problems and challenges as far as video streaming services. They can't really use YouTube or Netflix or anything like that because it's it's not really appropriate to what they watch. It doesn't teach them anything. It's usually junk as well as it's, it's tough to navigate. They could be navigating YouTube and all kinds of other problems that leads them down a hole. So it's a big market, big problem. And so what we're trying to do in this video is try to learn more about the parents and the caregivers of those adults with disabilities, because those are the people that we are trying to reach. This is their current website. Uh, that we are rewriting and we're rewriting some emails for them. Okay. So really, really cool. So let's go back to our document here. And in our document, we have a series of steps that we're going to be doing. Okay. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go to chat GPT and I'm going to start a new chat right here, copy and paste the context for each one of these steps and we're going to do it live. Okay. So step zero is we're going to do a rapid market snapshot. And in this, we're just trying to get a nice overview. So we fully understand the market itself in an instance and everything that we prompt, we're going to move over to a document here in a second. Okay. So I'm going to take this boom, 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 the rapid market screenshot, and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to move it over to chat GPT. Okay. Get out of here. Grammarly idiot. Why are you here? Okay. All right. So it needs a little finagling. No problem. My ideal customer persona is parent or caregiver of adults with disabilities. Okay. So just like, I mean, top, we're top of the moon here. This is not specific. I'm like, you're doing my market research, not me. Okay. The product I want to sell is I'm going to put the URL in delight station dot us okay so this is what i'm trying to sell i'm trying to sell delightstation.us which is a streaming video service like netflix but specifically for adults with disabilities okay fantastic and the product that my problem is solving is helps adults with disabilities learn independence skills that's the problem that they solve and it helps the parents, caregivers get a break. Okay. Which is a big, big thing in this industry. Now, granted, 
that was some preliminary research of just like reading the website, understanding the product. Yeah, take five minutes to understand the product for a second, right? Like just kind of get like, okay, who are the people kind of? And then well, what is the problem that it's trying to solve? Okay, got it. Like you take that and you're rocking and rolling, okay? So I'm gonna hit enter, boom. Okay, so it's got all this stuff and ChatGPT is like, let's get to work, baby. And now we have a really good snapshot, which I'm going to take over here. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go over to my market research doc and I'm gonna hit the snapshot section, okay? That's the snapshot. Bada bing, bada boom, we're in the snapshot. What we're gonna do next is we're going to do deep research, okay? So for step one, we're trying to figure out what people are saying. So now we're trying to understand what the market is actually saying. All right, so now let's go in here. We're gonna copy and paste this in here. Here's what I wanted to do, okay? I wanted to do step-by-step -step process to get all the insights, all this stuff, and I wanted to give me authentic quotes in fears, frustrations, wants, beliefs, and joys. Cite the sources on Reddit, so that way we have the links if we wanna go do a deeper dive into it later. Summarize these findings into quotes, all that stuff, and then make the results as clear, organized as possible, okay? We should be doing deep research for this, okay? Let me see if I can do deep research. Where's the tools? Run deep research, bam, okay? Here we go. So now we're gonna do it and click. Do the dirty work for us. Great, I'll collect 100 quotes and it's gonna start doing the research. Well, let's go ahead and fast forward into real life and then see what happens from here. A few moments later. 2,000 years later. One eternity later. All right, we are back. That took about 10, 15 minutes to do it, so I gave you a break in doing that. Now look at this. We've got this enormous document, okay, from ChatGPT that got all these threats. I mean, this is like a gold mine. Look at this, fear of unknown future. I am utterly terrified. I'm effing scared. Wow, that's incredible. Like, there are so many things, a lot of the fears of what ifs that may never happen. Autism, parenting, I feel like a terrible mother. Some days I wonder if all this stress is going to do me in. Like, look at this stuff. I mean, this is like, wow, this is like a copywriter's dream uh, to be able to look at this and be able to help. So now I'm gonna take all this, okay? And I've got everything. I've got hundreds of quotes in here, or a hundred quotes. Now I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna copy them over to my market research doc, okay? Bada bing, bada boom. So look at this. I mean, this is a gold mine of market research, okay? So now that we've got that part done, step one in the deep research, now we're going to do the psychographic research. We're going to understand more about our ideal clients, okay? So I'm gonna copy and paste this thing right here. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna come over here. We don't have to do deep research for this one, but I'm gonna hit boom. So now we're organizing, not just the quotes, but now we're pairing them into actual buckets to use for our copywriting here in just a minute. Identity, problems, physical and emotional burnout, isolation and loneliness, obstacles. Oh my gosh, this is, this is a gem. This is a, I can't believe I'm giving this to you for free. This is wild. Okay, so I'm gonna take all this and then I'm gonna copy it over to our doc, bam. Okay, so now it knows all of this stuff about us. So now we're gonna keep on rolling and we're gonna do market awareness levels and market desire tables. So we're gonna do over here, we're gonna copy and paste this. Here's what I'm trying to find out. Market awareness through the Eugene Schwartz lens, building a table of five columns, most aware, product aware, solution aware, problem aware, unaware, all that stuff, right? It's, I'm telling it to make columns and then I'm telling it to go a little bit deeper. Find five to 10 explicit desires and then create the so I can go deeper on each desire so we can dimensionalize the benefits, problems, solutions, all that stuff. And then we tell it all the tables, quality check, market output, exactly how we do it, and then bam, we tell it to keep the formatting clean. Look at this, oh my goodness, what is it doing? Why is this so cool? Look at this, this is incredible. This is apps, this is, my mind is. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put it into our doc, right down here at the bottom, boom, okay? So now we've got it pretty clean in here, good enough. Right, so we actually understand what's going on in here. And then we're going to take the final step. Now we're gonna understand how we're going to actually tie this all 
together. Okay, so I'm gonna take that. Okay, so the goal here is to reveal and dimensionalize every meaningful feature of the product and translate it into hard and layered benefits that resonate on a practical, emotional, and desire level using the Eugene Schwartz classic research lens. So now, what we have is we have a feature to benefit table. Here we go, baby. All right, so that's gonna come in here. And we're gonna put that, bam in there and it's actually telling us everything that we need to know for the product name what the feature what uh what the feature includes what's the performance benefit so you can do what what's the benefit of the benefit okay one layer deeper what's the dominant emotion that claim make peace vibe and then what's the matching desire look at this so now we have done our market research in less than 15 minutes rocking and rolling we have this entire 19 page document to help us write the copy the next thing i like to do is i like to go to claude okay i like to go to Claude because I think Claude is a better writer uh, than ChatGPT, especially if you're working on a quick project. And I'm going to come in here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this document as a uh, rich text format. The reason I do a rich text format instead of like a PDF is, oh, I should have named the document, but it is what it is, uh, is because it reads text better. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to upload the file. <laughs> untitled idiot <laughs> and I'm gonna come in here and say here is a document for a client that I am rewriting a landing page copy for rewriting the landing page copy for here is the research document I want you to outline the landing page copy for me this is like not a fancy prompt by any means all i'm trying to do is take the market research and start prepping ideas okay i'm just prepping ideas i may use 10 percent of it i may use 90 percent of it i may use 50 percent of it in the sense but over here look what it's doing it, it is finally screen time that actually helps your uh, adult child grow not the best headline by any means but it's giving me an idea okay i understand how they're going like you want the child to grow i'm probably going to say something about independence i'm going to talk about burnout i'm going to talk about taking a break just based on the market research but at least i have somewhere to start okay at least i have somewhere to be like okay here's the key differentiators got it here's the solution problem agitation section okay good to know all right and a lot of time here's what i'll do is i'll actually copy this i'll come in there i'll do a new tab and i'll do landing page outline okay just so i have something and bam okay you got something here and then i got the market research i got the landing page outline and then what i'll do is final copy and then from there i'll actually start taking stuff from each page and building my own landing page based on the research based on the claude and all of these things so that way I could do a much better job writing copies. So those are the prompts. That is a quick and dirty way to do market research. It's actually pretty incredible. Personally, if you're getting nice and high paid chunky checks, I still recommend talking to the market and things like that. But honestly, for 80% of the clients that you're gonna do work with, this method of market research is absolutely incredible absolutely incredible i hope it's helpful to you if you enjoyed today's videos gosh please do me a big favor like the video and subscribe to the channel that tells me that you want me to make more free content just like this and again if you want these prompts you could go ahead they're in the link in the description below you can grab them for free just put your email and automatically send to you and then you get the prompts you can use them for your next client hopefully it makes you a lot of money and i help you as a copywriter so i appreciate you thank you for your time and uh and i will catch you on the next one hey actually before you leave okay so you like the channel you subscribe to the channel awesome you are incredible go ahead and leave a comment down below what video do you want me to make next what is most helpful to you i want to be helpful to you so just let me know drop it in the comments what video do you want me to make next and i'll make it for you all right we'll chat see you in the next one